July 28th, God's Purpose or Mine He made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side. Mark 6, verse 45. We tend to think that if Jesus Christ compels us to do something and we are obedient to him, he will lead us to great success. We should never have the thought that our dreams of success are God's purpose for us. In fact, his purpose may be the exact opposite. We have the idea that God is leading us towards a particular end or a desired goal, but he is not. The question of whether or not we arrive at a particular goal is of little importance, and reaching it becomes merely an episode along the way. What we see as only the process of reaching a particular end, God sees as the goal itself. What is my vision of God's purpose for me? Whatever it may be, his purpose for me is to depend on him and on his power now. If I can stay calm, faithful, and unconfused while in the middle of the turmoil of life, the goal of the purpose of God is being accomplished in me. God is not working toward a particular finish. His purpose is the process itself. What he desires from me is that I see him walking on the sea, with no shore, no success, no goal in sight, but simply having the absolute certainty that everything is all right because I see him walking on the sea. Mark 6, verse 49. It is the process, not the outcome, that is glorifying to God. God's training is for now, not later. His purpose is for this very minute, not sometime in the future. We have nothing to do with what will follow our obedience, and we are wrong to concern ourselves with it. What people call preparation, God sees as the goal itself. God's purpose is to enable me to see that he can walk on the storms of my life right now. If we have a further goal in mind, we are not paying enough attention to the present time. However, if we realize that moment by moment obedience is the goal, then each moment as it comes is precious.